All right, Shalom, Yashallah. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. Brother Shawai. And this is the Rather North Carolina Camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rokakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We're teaching us this truth according to the Bible and we will well. And a double Shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing his truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. You know what I mean? The brother Shawah was able to link up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, which his name means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son, which his name means he saves and delivers. Right. You know what I mean? The brothers are going to get into a lesson on how the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, they're not dwelling in these temples made with man's hands. You see, because you got a lot of our people, Israel, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, going into these church buildings, thinking the Lord is dwelling in there when he's not. Mm -hmm. You see, so without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. We're going to grab the first precept and flow through the spirit. This is Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 4. Trust ye not in lying words, saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. Are these? <clears throat> That's right. We're gonna say trust not in lying words. And first and foremost, who are these lying words coming from? Your Joe Osteens, your uh, your, your Reverend Al Sharpton, TD right? Jakes, TD Jakes, right? Uh, Kurt, Creflo, Kurt Franklin, yeah, Louis yeah. Farrakhan. Yep. You oh, name yeah. Because what's the first thing that come out of their mouth? Right. The Lord is here. The Lord is dwelling with us. The Lord is in this house. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord's house. Mm -hmm. Right. But like we about to go into, man, the Lord don't deal in temples made with hands. So somebody's lying, man. It's either the scriptures or it's, or it's them false pastors, man. That's and right. We, and we know which one is which. And just elaborating what the brother was saying, you know, you got, um, you got all these false prophets in these churches, you know, lying to their congregation every Sunday, like the brother said, mm -hmm. saying that this is the house of the Lord and that the Lord is dwelling in there. But the scriptures say something totally different. The scriptures say that, that um, Yahweh Bashim Asha don't dwell in temples made with hands. That's right. And we're going to get that. That's right. I guess this is the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. That's right. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands? That's right. So, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, again, Yahweh being the heavenly father, which his name means he is or he exists, and Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son, which his name means he says he delivers. That's right. They're not dwelling in temples made with hands. Mm -hmm. You see, they're not in these church buildings, you know, on these um, harlot houses mm -hmm. made with man's hands. You see, because man, they're making these on um, these church buildings, these temples um, with their hands, building them from the ground up, using all different type of tools, you know, saws, screwdrivers, ranchers, pliers, mm -hmm. you name it, to get the job done. You see, you have Bashi Mashah not dwelling in these temples um, made by man's hands. You see, because not only that, you got all kind of Wicked, filthy acts going on inside these church houses. You see, you got sodomy going on in there. You got adultery going on in there. You see, you got um, you got um, um gambling and and, and and all types of crazy stuff in there. Right? That's right. You got um people calling them wrong um wrong powers. You know, yep. false gods. Yep, I do worship. That's right. Yeah. Broke the water. Mm -hmm. You see, so it, there's nothing but um all kind of wicked filthy acts going on in these church houses mm -hmm. so you have bashim al shah they're not dwelling in temples made by man's hands that's right i don't know if you mentioned it so they and they and they go <clears throat> they go as far as uh they bring uh the you see, dietary like the yep, dietary laws yep. every 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 what every first sunday they do the communion and then they go eat pork you know throw something on the grill in the back of the church you know what i'm saying so and shoot, they even go farther on um, promoting these pagan hol uh, holidays. Yeah, that's in there. what I was about to say too. Yeah, <clears throat> trunk or, trunk or treat. Man, the brother of the spirit was talking about that uh, earlier this week. Yep. It was us, right? Yeah, yep. trunk or treat. Have a, a Halloween, a Halloween uh, day at the church. You know what I'm saying? Where where the Lord is supposed to be dwelling? That's a demonic day. Christmas trees in there. Yeah, Christmas trees. Worshiping Nimrod. Yep. Hey, how are you gonna be worshiping one one idol at, right. <laughs> in in the Lord's house? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm gonna read on. I'm going to start from the top. Kind. This is first. Oh, no. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Verse 49. Mm -hmm. okay, Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? You got it. Yep. 
Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to finish it out. Or oh, what is the place of my rest? Right. The Lord is asking a, a rhetorical question. Of course. He said, what, what building? The, the, the heavens is my throne right. and the earth is my footstool. So the Lord got his feet laid out on this on this place, man. And you're going to build a temple uh, for him. With elements, with, with with wood, like the brother said, wood, nails, hammers, with stuff that he created. Man, he, there's nothing fit on this planet uh, that that's uh, that will equal that will equal the Lord's majesty, man. There's uh-huh. nothing that we can build for him here uh, that that can show forth how great the Lord really is. That's why we gotta do what he wants. Uh-huh. And uh, like uh, this next precept we're about to get, we're gonna show you what's the temple of the Lord. We're gonna show you what the Lord, uh, uh, how we can show the Lord that we really love him where, and where his rest is. By doing what he says, by going out to the highways and byways, man. That's we, right. Yeah. And so, like, before you get that, get that on um, Acts 17 to 24. Yep. And then get that when you come, 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 come. Yep. It's the book of, it's the Acts, right? Mm-hmm. It's the book of Acts, chapter 17. So, while the brothers getting that precept, you know, you so called Negroes, Latino Americans, seeing that the scriptures said, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, oh, yeah. the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, not dwelling in these temples, these church houses made with man's hands. What does that mean? You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans need to come up out of there. That's right. That's right. That's the beautiful precept right here. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 24. The Most High that made the world uh-huh. and all things therein, uh-huh. seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth. That's right. So, yeah, how about Shema Shai? They're the Lord of heaven. You know where they're at, where the angels and all them at, and earth, where mm-hmm. we're at, where we're dwelling at. Yep. Read on. Yep. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. That's right. So that's just backing up the last one you just read. Acts 7 and 48. That's right. Yep. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, they made it clear two times. They're not dwelling in temples, you know, these church buildings, you know, made with man's hands. And again, who are making these church buildings, these temples made with hands? Man's. You see, because they're using all different type of tools, you see, to build these temples. You see? And Yahweh Bashim is not dwelling in there. So now that we know Yahweh Bashim is not dwelling in these temples, these church these church houses made with hands, we're going to find out where Yahweh Bashim is really dwelling at. Can I, uh, uh, I just read down right quick? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it, it kind of get heavy right here. This is <clears throat> Acts verses 17, verse 25. Neither is uh, going to the point of the Lord. I'm going to just read it up a little bit. Uh, verse 24. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Verse 25. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth all he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Right. And I just want and I just back up what the brother just said, man. The Lord don't need he don't need us. He don't need nothing. You know, he is the he is the ruler and the creator of everything. So the fact that. Uh, and I, I just bring that out because what they do in the church, man, they waving their hands, they shaking their bodies, they screaming to the top of their lungs as if the Lord is really in there. But the Lord don't need that. You're not doing anything for the Lord uh, uh, by doing what he tell you not to do, mm-hmm. by going against what he's saying. And that's exactly what going in these haunted houses, these churches, man. Bunch of folly. Yeah, a bunch of folly, a bunch of foolishness. That's how the Lord is looking at it, man. Falling out, you know, shaking, falling <laughs> at the mouth, catching the quote unquote Holy Ghost. Right. And that's not what the Lord is looking for. That's when you get yeah, that good, point. good. And uh, what you need? Oh, that that the next precept. Yep. Yeah. This is First Corinthians uh, three, uh, three or six. Yep, you're right. Say three and sixteen. Yeah. Or, or, uh, oh no, that that's the point too. Six and nineteen. But no, what you want? Three. You can mm-hmm. get that after if you want. This is First Corinthians chapter three. Verse 16, mm-hmm. know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? Read that again. Oh, sorry. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? Read that one more time. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? That's right. So you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, the scriptures are saying that y'all are the temple. Y'all are that building to Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, Yahweh Bashim Asha set y'all up to be that temple, that mm-hmm. building unto them. That's right. Read on. Uh, did I finish it? Nope. No, I'm stopping. This is First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, uh-huh. and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? Right, and the Spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Asha dwelleth within us. And what's the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Asha? This Word. 
it's dwell with, it's dwell within the elect men, the ones who have the wisdom, knowledge, understanding the scriptures. That's right. Um, not seventeen. Do you want to say yeah. yep. this? Verse seventeen. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy, for the temple of the Most High is holy. Right. So the one. So the ones of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, who are out here defiling your temple. You know, by smoking weed, cigarettes, black and mouths, mm -hmm. you see, eating all these abominable foods such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, yep. you know, getting tattoos all over your body, yep. you name it. The ones of y'all are on the final of your temple, yeah, how about you, my child's going to destroy you, going to put you to death. Right, if I can say too, and, and, and those points are 100% correct, but also too, spiritually to follow your temple, man. Uh, if you temple of the most high and you got Allah in your spirit or what not even though our lives not real mm -hmm. but if you promoting that wickedness or you promoting uh buddhism scientology egyptology man you define the temple of the most high man and here right your heart your mind is the same thing so if you polluting your mind you polluting the uh, whole body man that's right bro and, 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 and um just to back mm -hmm. that up that also going to like you know you do, and how else are you defining your temple mm -hmm. you know by um Two men being together, yeah, you know, yeah. another man sticking his rod to another man yeah. anus. Yep. Same thing with a woman. Another woman licking on another on woman private. That's mm -hmm. that's you defiling your temple. That's right. So if you defiling your temple like that, yeah, how about my child's gonna destroy you? That's right. Uh, read it up a little bit. Read that on that on last part again. Yep. Just lie there. Yeah. yeah. For the temple of the Most High is holy. That's right. For the temple of Yahweh Bashima Shah mm -hmm. is holy. And you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, you are the temple of Yahweh Bashima Shah. And you're supposed to be holy, meaning what? You're supposed to be separate unto them from all these different nations upon the face of the earth, from mm -hmm. following their ways. Mm -hmm. You see, because y'all got your own ways, which is what? The law of the commandments of the Bible. That's right. And it finishes out, which temple ye are. All right, all right. which temple ye are. You see, so that's just showing you right there that you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, um, are the temple of Yahweh Bashimasha, and that the spirit is dwelling within you. You see, so Yahweh Bashimasha is not dwelling in these temples, these church houses, you know, these physical buildings made with man's hands because he's dwelling within us. We're that temple. We're that building. That's right. Get one more precept. Yep. Get that um that one um when it says when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Yeah, come on, come on. Um, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, um, I'm about to do the definition too. You good? Um, you know, you know where it's at. Um, yeah, I think I did. Oh, I'm just, not looking up on your yeah, phone. Yeah, somebody did. Yeah, it's, it's the thing. I'm taking all day on it. Yep, yep. So lucky so is real. Yep. Fine, bro. Um, you know. Is it St. Matthew? Uh, it's coming in right now. Yep, 18 to 20. It is. Yep. <clears throat> and this uh, is uh, St. Matthew, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 18. Oh, yeah, yep. Chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. All right. So when you got two or three, you see, or more brothers coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Asha, because here it is, me and this brother, we doing this lesson, mm -hmm. and we coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Asha, you see, breaking down the scriptures the right way, edifying the people. Guess what? Yahweh Bashim Asha is in the midst of us. He's surrounding us. You see, he's around us. Why? Because we're the temple of Yahweh Bashim Asha, and the spirit of the Lord, which is his word, is dwelling within us. You see? So we're the temple of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah, not these church buildings. You see, Yahweh Bashim al -Shah is not dwelling in these church buildings. You see, these on um, these on um, these whorehouses. He dwells within on um, his men he has set up because we have the word, the understanding of it. That's right. That's it on that? Yep. And uh can I get one Unless right? You got one, get it. Yeah, let's get one more. Um This is first Corinthians chapter three, verse nine. For we are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are the Most High's building. Huh. Right. And what does it say? We are laborers together with the Most High, right? Because what? The Lord sent out an order. He wanted something to be done. And we're actually playing it out here, man, preaching this word, grafting in the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And it says we are the Most High's husbandry. Uh, and the husbandry is, uh, I just looked it up. Mm-hmm. 
it goes into like planting, mm-hmm. farming, and like uh, you know, like a basic uh, a basic farming job, right? The uh, husbandry, uh, the first definition, the cultivation or production of plants or animals, right? So what the Lord, uh, we are the Lord's husbandry. We the, we are what the Lord is using for what? It said the cultivation of plants or animals. What animals are we bringing in? What are we trying to? What animals are we housing and keeping together? The sheep, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's simple. We are the building of the Most High. The Scripture just said it. Ye are the Most High's building. Mm. They don't get no more plain than that. That, right? that temple. Yeah, that temple, man. We are the temple. When you see those men on the highways and byways lined up side by side, man. Standing, preaching boldly, mm-hmm. like uh, Isaiah 58 and 1 says, crying aloud, spare not. Man, that is the temple of the Most High. That is the Lord's building. He's building up a spiritual house right in front of your eyes. That's right. That's right. And he's in the midst of those brothers. Yep. And uh, two or more gathered. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful, brother. Yeah, God. Uh, you, you, you want First Corinthians 6? I mean, it's basically the same. It's like it's real. Basically the same. Right here, 6 and 19. Over right here? Yeah, 19 to 20, yeah. Come on, man. Hmm. You bought with a price? No. No, okay. Yep. You know, so with that, I hope you so called Negroes, Latino Americans have been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. Yep. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rokakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are teaching us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of the ability. So with that, shalom. Shalom.